Hi, how are you? It's Jeff Sinker from Skype Guitar Lessons Online.com. Really good to see you all again. I appreciate you tuning in. This lesson has been probably one of the most requested songs that I've been asked to cover, Power Slave. It, it really is a good song, a lot of power on this chord riff, uh, and I can fully understand why people have been requesting me to play it. And of course, I really enjoy playing this song anyway, so it, it really isn't a problem for me to actually show you how to do this lesson. If this is your first time tuning into the channel, I uh, hope you enjoy it. If you do, don't forget, before you leave, just click on that subscribe button, click on that, click on the bell, that way you'll be notified whenever I'm posting any new videos to the channel. Uh, and of course, I really do appreciate the support and I love reading the comments. So anybody posts in that, I always try and respond. And uh, obviously if you requested one of these great Maiden songs, I add it to the list. And I do promise I will be getting through to all of them eventually. Who knows? I'll even do the entire catalogue of Iron Maiden songs. That would be something. Anyway, let's get into the song and let me show you how to play Power Slave by Iron Maiden. So don't go away. Preview. Right, let's look at that great intro riff. I'll play it through and then I'll break it down for you. Right, it has got the famous Iron Maiden Gallop. So I, a few students have asked me, how do you play the Iron Maiden Gallop? So I've just got to take the time here just to cover this. Uh, what I'm doing in this uh, lesson, I'm going to be playing all the rhythm guitar parts in this section. And part two, I'm going to cover all of the solos for this song. So in this part, it gives me a chance to do a little bit more work on the technique of playing Iron Maiden songs. So I do hope you appreciate this part. So the gallop. Now we're going to be playing this over an A. So we've got an open A string. That's your riff. Now how do we play that? What I'm playing is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down. Now, we're going on here, we go to a C5 chord. Now, he does alternate between a C5 chord and a B flat 5 chord. So, we play in a C5, which is first, uh, third fret on the A, and five fret on the D. The B flat is first fret on the A, third fret on the D. So, we get this down, 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 down. recommend you take a little bit of time to get that because of course it's called the Iron Maiden Gallop because they use it in so many songs. So this technique, once you've got it nailed on here, you're going to be able to use it in numerous songs. I said to one of my students just the other day, there really isn't a song that I can think of that doesn't have at some point in the song, the Iron Maiden Gallop. So it really is important if you're gonna be playing Iron Maiden songs to really get that nailed with the pick. <laughs> Once you get comfortable at that tempo, start to bring it up to the full tempo. Now this is going at 135 beats per minute, I believe in this song. So it is kind of kicking along there. So start off slow, work that down and down, up, down, down, up, down. That's the action that you've got to get with this pick. Now, what I also like to do is uh, 
and you're going to be muting it. So I've got a bit of a palm mute going on there. Now when I play the power chord, I take off the palm and then it's back. changing dynamics from the mute to an open you can see I'm, that's coming away from the fretboard from the strings when I'm playing that power chord now let's have a look at that riff that we're going to play so what are we playing there open string A to 5 on the A to 4 back to 5 and then seven, back to five. And then we've got this, which is a four, five. Going to six on the A. And then back. Like that. So that is your main riff. To that song now that gets played an awful lot through this song so do spend some time working to get that right okay let's move on to the next section and we'll call this the pre-chorus so we will now in this pre-chorus section Dave Murray and Adrian Smith play different sections to this so what I'm gonna do first I'm gonna play the chords that were predominantly heard through this song and then I'll show you what the second guitar is playing so let's first look at the main guitar part in this so I'll play it through and then we'll break it down <laughs> Now we are just playing power chords, but we're going to be on the D and the G string. So we're going to start off with an E power chord. So I'm on two on the D and four on the G. And we move up on the same two strings to 10 on the D and 12 on the G, which is a C chord. So we've got. So quite a bit of move up the fretboard there. And then we've got this movement between six and seven. So we're doing a six, seven, six. Now it's a slide. So you pick, slide backwards and forwards. And then we move down to third fret on the D and five fret on the G. So we're playing an F chord. And then we're going to go back to that E chord. That's what one guitar is playing now. The other guitar is playing the power chords, but at the lower end. So we get this. It's the same chords, but we start off with an E chord. So I'm just playing open E string two, and uh, I'm playing two on the D as well. So I've got two A and two D. Really, it's a power behind that chord there. Now I move to a C5 chord, which is A3 and D5, and then it's a four five four slide. So I'm doing four on the E, and I'm doing six on the A and then moving up to 5, 7 and sliding back to six, uh, 4, 6 and then to an F which is that last one and then we, so we're doing 1 and 3 so we get this end up on my E chord so that is the pre-chorus. Now you can decide which guitar line you want to do, but what comes out uh, predominantly through this song is this higher one on the D and the G string. That one there, that's what you tend to be hearing more, but of course the second guitar is putting that real deep low end to it by playing down on the lower part of the strings there. 
So now let's look at this main chorus line. Right, as per usual, I'll just play this through and then I'll break it down. Okay, what are we doing there? Well, it starts off with this E power chord. So I'm just open string again, 2-2. Two, two. Then we move to a C5 power chord, which is 3 on the A, 5 on the D. 2 frets higher to a D5. So I'm doing 5 and 7. And then we have this part. Now, what are we doing on that part? Well, I've got the E covered, so I'm holding down my first finger on that second fret on the A string. And we're doing this line, I keep that shape there, we don't actually fully play that chord, but we're playing this. That's your first part. So it's going one E under two E under three E under four E under. So it's three pulling off to that open string. One, two. Okay, now the next part, I'll go through it nice and slow and you'll be able to follow it on the tab as well. We're gonna do just one open E string. And then we've got four on second fret on the E. One, two, three, four. Move up to three. One, two, three, four. Move to five. One, two, three, four. And then we do a... 3-2-0 and then back on to an open and then we go to the open E power chord so we get and then we repeat that that four times and once we played that last one we back to we go back to that main riff again through the verses right what we're going to do now we are going to look at the clean guitar section that is played through the game the first two guitar solos Right, let's have a look at the first part of this clean guitar section. Now, predominantly we're playing this over a B minor chord. So we're going to have our bar across second fret from the A string down. We're going to have our third finger on D4, our little finger on G4, and then our second finger is going to be on B3. Now the picking pattern is A string, D string, B string, G string. So we get this. That predominantly is the picking pattern through this song. However, in the first opening four bars, we have a slight change to this. So what we're gonna do is... There's two chords. We get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now after that, it's all going to be for the next, I think it's around about 16 bars of going. And then we get this little turn round. Now, in the tabs that I will be sending out, this is occurring from bar 110. So we get this one bar. Then we lift up the bar, but we keep that shape there. So we've still got the art three, four. And we got the same picking pattern. But 
this time the bass note is on the open string. Then we bring our first finger across to the third fret and the low E string. Same picking pattern, but this time the root now is on that third fret. Now we're doing this three times. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. On the last one, we take our fingers off apart from the little finger and we're going to play open D to four on the G to open A to four on the G and then it goes back to the B. So the progression will sound like this. Once we come out of that clean section of the guitar, we hit guitar solo number two, which is Adrian Smith's guitar solo. And the rhythm that Dave Murray plays behind that is this. Let's break that down. Now, we are going to be starting off on a B5 power chord, but we're going to be lifting our finger up and down on this movement, so we get this. So it's B5, open A string, back to the B5. Now we get this pattern here. So we go in open, open, And we're finishing on that line on the open A string. Now we're going to go to a G power chord. So we're playing three on the lower E and five on the A. Then we move up to a D5 power chord, which is five on the A, seven on the D. Now you're going to hold down more of these. You're going to hold down on the D, G and the B. You're going to be holding down the seven. And we get this. So you get this set of 60s. This is just a down, up, down. We go to the A. And we do this kind of an ACDC thing. So I'm doing this A. Free on the open E string, uh, the low E string. And then back to the A. And then we do another three on that low E string. And then three A's. So put it again together. So typical what happens, we go back and repeat it. And that is the rhythm that's been played through Adrian Smith's guitar solo. Now let's look what happens when we come out of the guitar solos. And coming out of the second guitar solo, there is this little dual harmony section. Now I'm going to play through both sections. So first of all, we are going to look at Dave Murray's section. So I'll play it through and then I'll break it down for you. <laughs> Right, so let's have a look at what we're doing there. So we start off with two on the A string, going to four on the A, and then open D to two on the D, and then we've got open D, and then we've got four on the A, and then open two. So we get this. Next part. We got four on the A, open on the D, two on the D, open on the D, four on the A, and then we got this little slide from four to five on the D, back to four. So that section. Now we've got two on the D, 
four on the D, five on the D, and then we got this hammer on pull off on four and five, and then moving back to two on D, and then we got four on the A, and then open. So that part will go like this. And then we have now got open on the D, four on the A, open on the D, two on the D, open on the D, four on the A, open on the A, and then two. So this part goes like this. And then it repeats all the way through. Uh, now let's look at Adrian Smith's harmony on this one. Again, I'll just play it through and then I'll break it down for you. Okay, exactly the same phrasing. Obviously, different set of notes for the harmony. So we start off the first section with an open D, two on the D, four on the D, open G, four on the D, two on the D, four on the A, and then open string D. And we get this. Next part, we start off with two on the D, four on the D, open G, four on the D, two on the D, and then we got this little slide again, this time on the G, where we're playing two to four. So that part will go like this. And then we've got open D, two on the G, four on the G, and then we got the little hammer on pull off like we had in the previous one, but this time G2, 4 to 2, or to the open D. So that part will go like this. And the final part is open D, 2 on the D, 4 on the D, open G, 4 on the D, open D. Four on the A, and then finishing off with open D. So we get... Right, there's just one more section that we've got to cover, uh, and it's just coming out of the solo pieces, going back into the main verse. So let me just play through it, and then I'll just break down what we're playing here. from there so we're playing what we did previously we've got that and then we do a G since before but this time instead of doing the little triplet we just go from G D so we get this and then we've got this F power chord to an E so I'm doing an F5, which is here on 8 and 10 on the D. Moving down one fret to the E. And then we've got the full bar and a half. One, two, three. Now this one here, we're just going down two more. We're going down one more fret. You know say? We've got an E flat, so we're on 6 to 8. Going to 5 to 7. Then we do this C to a B, so we're doing three five to two four, two three four, one two three, and then we do a G to the A, G to the E, sorry, two three four, one two three, then by back into that section there. 
And the very last part of this song closes uh, as the outro with this very Egyptian sound to it. So I'm just going to play it through and I'll show you exactly how to play this one. So, as we're coming out of the chorus, we are playing that. And then we go to a C5 and hold it for a whole bar. So we're playing three on the A string, five on the D. Two, three, four. We move up two frets to the D5 and we go one, two, three. And then we've got on the E5, so we move up another two frets. So you get one, two, three, four. Then we get one, two. So we're playing five, four, five, seven. Then we got a triplet. And then to an F chord, which is one on the low E and three on the A. Now we've got this little part here where we're doing two on the D, then three, two, three, cross to the G, one, and then three on the D. And then back to one on the G, two, five, and then we do a four, five pull off to seven on the D. Then we've got a six, seven triplet. So six, seven, six pull off, and then down to three, six, back to three, and finishing on two. the song and we've covered all of the sections for the rhythm guitar and also the harmonies next lesson we are going to be looking at the solo so that'll be posted soon so if you are new to the channel and you have not yet subscribed do take the opportunity just to click on that subscribe button and then you'll be notified when I post the solo section to this great song well I am going to let you go it's been great having your company as usual. I hope you have enjoyed learning how to play this song. I have enjoyed actually learning it myself and teaching you. But until the next time, this is Jeff Sinker from SkypeGuitarLessonsOnline.com. Thanks for your company. I'll see you again soon. Until then, goodbye. <laughs>